In this video, we'll distinguish between a general and a singular solutions. We have seen two solution techniques, as it were, integration and separation of variables. And both of those techniques give you not a single solution, but an infinite class of solutions. For both integration and separation of variables, the reason for that was the same. You got arbitrary constants of integration. But we've already said, this is what we expect. Differential equations should have an infinite number of solutions. If you use some technique to solve a differential equation and get an infinite class of solutions, those solutions are called general. There may be other stray solutions called singular. Let's give an example of how this works. And I'm going to brush through the details of this example. But here's a differential equation. And we can solve it using separation of variables. One over y minus one to the two thirds power dy equals six x dx. And we integrate both sides. And I said I was going to skim through the details, but I suppose there's really no harm in showing the integration. We'll divide both sides by a three, an arbitrary constant divided by three is still an arbitrary constant. Cube both sides.
And finally, solve for y. And there is the infinite class of solutions we got to using separation of variables. These are our general solutions. But it turns out there's one other solution that doesn't look anything like that a stray solution that we call singular. And that solution comes from this step, from dividing this y minus one to the two thirds power over here. We probably didn't think a lot about that step while we were doing it, but we can't divide by zero. So to go from here to here, we need to make an assumption that y is not equal equal to one. Otherwise, we'd have a division by zero error. Well, as it happens, it's not the most fascinating solution, but y equals one is a solution. The derivative of a constant function is zero, and zero does indeed equal six x times zero to the two thirds. So this constant function is a solution that is not included in the general class of solutions. There is no constant C you can pick here to make this be the constant function one. And again, and repeating myself, but that's okay. If you get a stray solution that does not have the form of a general solution. It's called singular. We are not going to see a lot of this kind of thing in this class, but it's something to keep in the back of your mind. Even if you've solved a differential equation, it's possible there are other solutions as well.